Good morning, dreamers. So who's ready for my Japanese apartment tour? As you can see, my first month in Japan was super packed. I did a lot of different events and things, and now it's almost been two months on the program, and I'm finally cleaned my house, and I have all my functioning furniture and everything. So it's finally time to give you a before and after apartment tour. So I filmed one right when I moved in, so the place looks like chaos. So I'm gonna show you that one first. Okay, so quick run through of the apartment. Um, this is my Genkan. So that's the front door, obviously. It's a pretty good area. There's tons of space to put shoes and other stuff. And there's like a coat rack up here. The circuit breaker is kind of crazy up at the top. Um, and my landlord is the cutest. There's like an umbrella and everything for me. Um, so right after you come in the door, you're met by a lovely wall. And then there's the restrooms. Uh, I actually really like this layout. It's kind of nice. You can close off the bathroom completely. I have crazy bidet. Uh, we bought, um, he had toilet paper for me and there's a little air freshener in here that he left for me as well. I've got a towel and soap um, at the store. Um, then I have the bath area, which is really nice. They're very cool because you can just shut the door. Um, so the bath, then I have the laundry and the sink with lots of these cute little cubbies. Hi. Um, haven't gotten a new phone yet because I didn't have my address registered. There's already curtains here. This is my kitchen. Um, I have the refrigerator. The stove was here. If you walk in here, I have a crazy big apartment. I have a living room. Uh, these go out to the back patio. Um, this room is really like a two bedroom. So this room has a really nice big closet. It's really deep. Um, and then it attaches to the bedroom, the second bedroom, which has the bed in it, obviously. It's also right off the front. So we come full circle. So we're back at the Genkan. This is the bedroom. They have a little welcome card here for me. So I'll probably leave that up. I don't know what anything out there is yet, honestly. Haven't even been outside. Uh, not going out. Big closet, all my hundreds of suitcases. There's a few hangers. Um, and I think these are curtains up there. I don't know, haven't investigated. Um, I will do a video after I unpack a bit and sort of get all my stuff together and you can see what it looks like. Obviously, I'll be furnishing this place for a while. My belongings are sort of strewn across the floor. I got a little dresser thing, so that's really exciting. That's one of the drawers on the floor. And all my clothes are sitting on top of it because I needed the hangers to do laundry. And the clean laundry is sitting on top of my suitcase. Okay, so after about two months on the JET program, I just received my second paycheck yesterday. So this will be the current department tour. And for the most part, it's done and mostly furnished. But I'll do an update if it changes drastically. Enjoy! So this is my little baby. I'm going to hide the license plate. This is a Suzuki K, K-E-I, and she's so cute. They do drive on the other side of the road here. So this is the little car, and then, of course, in these two lanes, the cars will be driving in this direction, and then they will turn in that direction. So it's a little bit different. Um, I have my very own vending machine here at the apartment complex, so it's great. So let's go into my apartment. It just rained, so it's a little wet. And these bushes are where our house used to be. And there's lots of feral cats that live out here. So I'm up here on the second floor, so let's go. So this is my Genkan. When I come in, this is where you take off your shoes on the lower level and you put on indoor shoes or you just walk barefoot, which is what I'm doing. 
so in my Genkan, I have this really nice cabinet. This was here when I moved in, and this is where like shoe storage and everything is. So I have shoe storage. I also have like bug spray and other things in here. So coming in from the Genkan, when you turn this direction, you have the bathroom area. So in Japan, bathrooms are broken up into three segments. So I have a modern version of the toilet room. Yes, I have the bidet. Everyone has been asking me about that. I don't really use it though. And yes, most toilets here that I've seen have some kind of sink. So this makes the tank smell good. And then when you flush, it fills the tank with the water you wash your hands with. So it's very economical. In this section, you have both the shower, which you have the shower. It can go to two different levels. In mine, I have a bench in here that you can sit on as well. And then it also has the like very deep uh, soaker tub, but it's not as wide as an American um, tub would be. So it's deep for soaking. And then I have my towels and stuff hung across the door because there's nowhere else to put them. In the corner here, I have my washing machine. Japan does not typically have dryers inside houses, so you hang dry your clothes and we'll see that later. And then I have my sink area. Hello! <laughs> so with all the different little pockets and things to hold accessories. All right, so we're going to turn back a little here and you enter into the kitchen. So I have a very large kitchen. I'm actually in a two LDK. Actually, I think it's a one LDK apartment. So the kitchen's pretty big. Uh, it has enough room to have like a dining table. This is the couch I inherited from my predecessor. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not, um, but right now it's just sort of chilling here. Uh, and this is a lovely painting that she drew. So this is the emergency radio, and then I have a balcony off of my kitchen, and it's raining a little bit right now, so I'm gonna leave it closed, but it's just a little balcony. It's really nice. Looks out onto the little neighborhood street, and one of my teachers actually lives right over there, so I'm very close to my school, and it's wonderful. Oh, and my landlord, if you can see this, my landlord has like a watermelon garden and a couple other crops out in the back here. So I have my stove, I've got plenty of storage, um, coffee maker, uh, all my little things, and I just added this, and I'm very proud of this. This is my like hanging thing. Of course, this was all purchased at Daiso, which is the dollar store here. So I got the like mesh thing on the back and then the little hanging devices. So it makes life easy to have those out. As you can see in Japan, there's very limited counter space. I have this very small area here, and then I have the metal part of the sink, which is meant for dish drying. Um, so it's a very small area. And then I have all my dishes. I have a few upper cabinets, although they're very high, and my refrigerator, which is taller than some refrigerators I've seen. But putting the microwave on top of it makes it very difficult because this is eye level for me. So it's hard to get things out of the microwave, which is also a toaster. So, all right. From, oh, and this is all of the garbage sorting. So I have four different types of trash and they all get picked up on different days of the week. Uh, in the month and the year, so you have to keep track of when trash is going out. So this is my garbage sorting area. So from the kitchen, uh, we go into my like extra room. So currently I'm using it as a living room. Um, it's a very good size room. I have a kotatsu also from my predecessor. The tatami mats are from my landlord. I have some little chairs here. These are all my studying books. Uh, I bought this shelving unit over here uh, for 
at the secondhand store, but it's basically brand new. I'm going to use it as sort of a craft counter. Um, as you can see, it already has some craft supplies in there. This was my very first uh, Shoto drawing that I just did yesterday, actually. So I also have closets in these rooms. The closets are pretty decently sized. They are very deep. These are ginormous suitcases. So they've got plenty of storage room in there for things. Okay. So in this room, is sort of my laundry center here because out on the balcony is the laundry area. So this is a bigger balcony. It spans the side of my apartment. So this, this door over here goes into my bedroom. And yeah, these are the air conditioning units. This is my drying rack, which I'm gonna put back inside. So. But yes. Both of the rooms in here have an aircon. I don't typically turn this one on, so. All right, and then through the sliding doors right here is my bedroom, which is very happy and bright, and I love it. So, as you can see, my bedroom is the exact same size as the other room, just minus a window. Um, the bed I bought from my predecessor so she gave me that, and then I have some under the bed storage boxes. Uh, and then this little table is from my landlord, nicely. And I have some organizational boxes here from Daiso as well. So this is the same balcony we were just on a minute ago. So this is the outdoor balcony. And I'm decorating my walls slowly. Uh, and then again, I have a closet, I have a mirror over here, fan, and the closet is the same size as the other one. And then this is my emergency preparedness kit that I'm getting ready. And then if you go through the bedroom door, you're right back at the GameCon. All right, dreamers, I hope you enjoyed the apartment tour and... Uh, I hope everybody comes to visit Japan at some time. It's a country that's extremely nice. Everybody is so kind and caring, and I really like it here. And my apartment is pretty Western style in some senses. It doesn't have any of the shogi doors, and it doesn't have tatami mats. Um, so I'm lucky in that regard. I'm pretty close to uh, my school. I'm about five minutes away. And I'm about five minutes from a 7-Eleven as well. So it's pretty decent location. Um, but every situation is different. And I definitely have friends in very traditional housing. And I have friends in smaller apartments and bigger apartments. And it's an amazing program to be on Jet. But you definitely have to remember that you don't really know what you're getting into when you come here. If you're looking to apply, please apply. It's an incredible experience. Even if you're in a city or out here in the Anaka like I am, it doesn't matter. It's just going to be awesome no matter what you do. All right, so love you guys.